chicken wings two different ways on the griddle along with some potato wedges and a homemade Carolina gold sauce. The sauce is probably the best part of the cook. Welcome back friends. This was a fun cook. We did them on the griddle and in a cast iron pan deep fry with oil. The ones on the right had salt and pepper. Those are going on the griddle. The ones on the left are just naked plain wings. Those are going in the cast iron pan. This is my first time using a cast iron pan to try to fry something on the griddle. If I'm being completely honest, I'll probably never do it again. It was not a good experience. It took really, really long time to heat up, which makes sense because, I mean, you're heating the griddle with the flame, then the griddle's heating the cast iron pan, which is then heating the oil, and oil takes a long time to heat up. So I've done thin oil pans to fry stuff, but probably not cast iron again. That doesn't seem logical to me. Uh, maybe you've had better luck with it. I did not. Then for the ones on the griddle, I did oil and butter. A little hockey hockey puck butter here. Uh, I want to put these wings right into the butter. You can see they got the salt and pepper. The skin side is going down. I really wanted to get a nice crispy golden brown look to the chicken wings that were going on the griddle. I'd say it took 10 minutes per side on these wings. I did them first on the skin side, then I flipped them over, did them another 10 minutes on the other side. Probably about a total of 20, 25 minutes for the wings. The ones in the fryer went a lot quicker. You're looking at 12, 12 to 15 minutes and they were ready to go. The wedges in the background are very easy. I just wedged up a Yukon Gold potato, popped it in the microwave with some water for two minutes, then threw it on the griddle. These are just plain chicken wings you can buy from the grocery store. I got them fresh, they're not frozen. Ooh, now you can see we're getting a good good little fry over there. Let's take a look at these potato wedges. They got a good color on them. I like doing the wedges. They're just an easy way to put a starch on the griddle. They're never gonna taste as good as they do if you fried wedges, but they're good. Carolina Gold, the star of the show. We did mustard, paprika, brown sugar, also had some Worcestershire in there, a little bit of honey, which was being stubborn as honey is usually. Get out of there. Salt and pepper, and some apple cider vinegar. Mix it up, I splashed it out on the griddle. That's okay, still tasted good. Probably could have used that apple cider vinegar to give me more tang in there, but it was still delicious. Then I just put it on the back to keep warming up. Yeah, love that little red spatula. You gotta get yourself a little spatula if you don't have one for the griddle. Comes in handy. Let's take a look at our wings after the first 10 minutes. I mean, they're getting a pretty good color. Definitely not where I want them to be though, so put them back down in there. Here's the ones in the fryer after about 10 minutes. They're getting, uh, they're getting along. I mean, they're just naked. There's nothing on them be better breaded but they're good now I flipped them after that 10 minutes they started to get a good color prior ones are going well and then our Carolina gold is kind of bubbling and starting to mix all together so we are starting to be in good shape here with these wings another five minutes later and the wings in the fryer we can tamp them out you want to go to 165 with chicken we're at 190 we are Plenty hot enough for these, so we can pull these out of the fryer. I'd say overall, the ones in the fryer I thought tasted better. I mean, I, I would, chicken wings are best when they're fried. That's just my opinion. But the ones on the griddle were still good as well. I think if I redid this again, I would probably use the foil pans and just fry them on there. Just think that's the best way to get it. I did get a nice color you can see there on the uh, wings that I put on the griddle. But I don't know if they were that much better than, per se, eh, popping wings in the oven, let's say. It did take a long time to get them all the way done. So if you got a better recipe for cooking wings on the griddle, let me know. I'm just trying to be honest, you know, with my experiences on the griddle for anyone who gets one. I think if you, I were to do wings again, like maybe if I was doing burgers, dogs, brats, and a bunch of stuff and wanted to throw some wings on again, I would definitely do that. I mean, that seems like that would be easy to put some on but I don't know if I'd fire the griddle up just to throw down 20 wings again I think I'd rather just put them in the oven it'd be easier and I'd get the same if not a better result that's just my opinion though let me know uh, if you have a different 
you know, wing recipe or you have some that turn out really, really good on the griddle you think are, are worth the time trying. But the wedges are going on there. I use ranch and celery. Normally I'm a blue cheese guy, I'm not gonna lie. My wife wanted ranch and you know, I just, we went with ranch. Normally I'm a blue cheese guy though. Here comes the wings that I tossed with the Carolina Gold. That did turn out great. I will link to the blog where I got the recipe for the Carolina Gold because they were absolutely delicious. You can't go wrong. Something a little different than your regular buffalo sauce. There's some chicken wings on the flat top grill. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and keep on griddling.